Let's play with the temperature sensor. This is part 25 of the Key Studio 3701 sensor kit, the analog digital temperature sensor module. I'll use the Fritzing software to show you how to connect everything, so here's what you'll need. An Arduino microcontroller, preferably the Uno version or similar, a 400 tie point breadboard, a USB cable, the temperature sensor module, 4 to 10 jumper wires, a multimeter, a thermometer, and a small flathead screwdriver. Place the temperature sensor on the breadboard towards the middle, connect the pin labeled AO to analog pin A0, connect the pin labeled G to ground, connect the pin labeled plus to 5 volts, connect the pin labeled DO to digital pin 8. Now here is the real version. Here are the key features of this sensor module. The temperature sensor is at the top. This is called a thermistor, short for thermal resistor. There are two types of thermistors, NTC and PTC. NTC stands for negative temperature coefficient, where the resistance decreases as temperature increases. Then PTC stands for positive temperature coefficient, where the resistance increases with temperature. In this case, this specific sensor is a NTC thermistor. The blue square is a 3296 potentiometer that you can adjust to change the trigger values and the amount of resistance used. The L1 LED indicates that the circuit board is receiving voltage. The L2 LED turns on when the sensor reading exceeds the threshold value. The LM393 chip is a comparator that checks the threshold value. Next, Grab the USB cable, connect it to the Arduino, and then connect to your computer. We'll use the Arduino IDE software for programming the Arduino Uno. Upload the following 19 lines of code. Open the serial monitor and observe the values from the sensor. The analog values will range from 0 to 1023. These values are dependent on the resistance of the potentiometer. Since this is a NTC thermistor, you will notice that the analog readings decrease as heat is applied. This is one of the most difficult sensors to use since a lot of calculations are involved and we need to guess certain factors to help us produce a result. Next, disconnect the USB cable so there is no power going to the circuit. Grab the multimeter and measure the resistance of the potentiometer. Place the probes on the outer pins of the potentiometer. Observe the value, then rotate the screw until the value is approximately 10 kilo ohms. Next, using the multimeter, record the resistance value of the thermistor. Grab the thermometer and record the temperature in Celsius next to the circuit. Here is the next part of the code. Update the nominal resistance and nominal temperature with your values and then upload the code to the Arduino circuit. This code is a best guess estimation since the data sheet of the thermistor is not available. Adjust the different coefficients, resistances, and temperatures to find the correct temperature. 